Hello, B and I, and welcome back to part three of the three-part series of how to effectively communicate and participate in a one-to-one. -one. When done properly and done this way, using the forms that have been provided to you through BNI, you should be walking away with an average of three referrals or three referral opportunities every single time. So today, I'm going to share with you how to put all of this together. In the first video of this series, we talked about how to fill out the biography sheet. Hopefully you have that done at this time. We also talked about how to fill out the gains exchange sheet. What I want to talk about today is filling out how we're going to, or not really filling it out, we're just going to talk about how to put it all together. So the first step in putting it all together, number one, you need to schedule a one-to-one -one with a fellow BNI member. Um, oftentimes we get asked as directors, uh, where's the best location? Uh, the best location is really to pick one of your offices. Uh, the reason for that, if you go to a restaurant, usually there's a lot of distractions. Um, also by going to one of your places of business, then that's uh, part of the experience. Maybe you schedule a tour or the individual gets to see how your office is set up. Um, maybe there's some awards that you're proud of that you wanna have on the wall and so forth. Um, so ideally, one of your um, office locations, if you can't do that, then second best would be maybe more of a, a quieter um, type of location, like maybe a coffee shop, but not first thing in the morning. Um, lastly, would probably be like a restaurant of some sort, but again, there's just so many uh, distractions that occur a lot of times at a restaurant. Remember, we're net working, not just net sitting or net eating. So with that being said, uh, what you should be doing is exchanging your forms at least 48 hours in advance. Um, ideally via, via email where the other individual can print that off. However, um, even better, maybe you have them with you at your weekly meeting when you schedule the one-to-one -one and you can just hand them to the other person that you're meeting with. Worst case, just make sure that they have them 48 hours in advance. Then what you're gonna be doing, because um, you're exchanging them, so you will have their forms. Uh, so let's pretend that today is a Monday and I have a meeting with Rob, one of my fellow members, on Wednesday. I'm gonna make sure that he has my one-to-one -one sheets and I'm gonna make sure that he has, or that he has mine and I have his. So then once I have his, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down with a printed out copy of Rob's forms and I'm gonna review them. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna take notes on his biography sheet. And when I'm looking through that, I'm gonna take notes of number one, how do I think I could help him? Uh, maybe some notes of where we have some common ground. Um, and then I'm gonna take a look at his um, gains exchange. Okay, so specifically looking at some of his goals, looking at some of his um, accomplishments. So I'm gonna be taking notes first and foremost of how I think I could help him. So in his goals, maybe he has that he wants to hold uh, 50 one-to-ones this year. Well, obviously I'm helping him by having a one-to-one -one with him this week. Um, so looking at the goals, taking notes. Then I'm gonna go back through his sheets and I'm actually gonna spend some time taking a look at how do I think he could help me? So again, you're looking at it and asking yourself two questions. First time through, how can I help him? Second time through, how can he help me? And you're taking notes on that. The reason you want to is because while it's fresh in your mind and you're thinking about it without any distractions before the conversations happen, then you can make sure that when you're sitting down, you're taking a look and you're going through all your notes. And I'm gonna show you uh, some of these here in a moment and how to use them looking at my specific sheets if you were doing a one-to-one -one with me. Then when you actually hold the meeting, uh, I highly encourage you to use a timer, whether it's just a timer on your phone or the BNI Connect timer. Um, you're gonna spend seven minutes the first time going through, in this case, if I'm meeting with Rob, we would spend seven minutes on Rob's biography sheet where maybe I'm asking him questions or I'm saying some stuff about things that I found interesting or maybe I have some extra questions for him that I written had previously written down on his bio sheet. Then we're gonna spend seven minutes on mine. So he's gonna go through and ask me questions about my biography sheet and maybe make some notes um, as well as to follow up and so forth. Then 
we're going to set 18 minutes and we're going to focus on my gains exchange form, the notes that he's taken, um, the ones for both how he thinks he can help me and also the notes of how he thinks I could help him. Then our next 18 minutes, we're going to focus on his gains exchange form. So again, it's seven minutes per member on the biography sheets, 18 minutes per member on the gains exchange, talking about the notes that you've written ahead of time so that you can stay on task and stay in align with respecting each other's time and really looking for possible business. And then the last 10 minutes is going to be used for follow-up. Um, and meaning you're sitting there together doing the follow-up. So for example, let's say while meeting with Rob, um, he, a, a good referral opportunity happens to be my neighbor. So I might just rate that in there, call my neighbor up and say, hey, I, I'm meeting with Rob. Um, he's the best of the best in his industry. As we were talking, your name came to mind. I would love to set up a time for you and him to meet. And we would maybe hand the phone off to Rob, let him schedule the appointment. Or I might say, you know, we both have, uh, we both like to golf. We'd love to take you out golfing, right? So we can make that personal introduction. Um, or maybe while you were going through the forums, you decided, you know what, let's do a health and wealth uh, seminar, right? Uh, maybe you're a financial advisor and they're a massage therapist. And you decide, you know what, let's do a group health and wealth seminar and we're going to schedule time then those last 10 minutes. We're going to be picking out dates that might work in our calendar and we'll pick out dates that we want to coordinate how we're going to get out the invitations and who we're going to invite and that kind of stuff. So seven minutes per person for the bio, 18 minutes per person for the gains exchange, and then 10 minutes for the two of you sitting together, calendaring out or scheduling out the follow-up that needs to be done. Um, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to share with you just a couple things from my biography sheet, just because I feel comfortable sharing it. Um, so let's say you were looking at my biography sheet and you wanted to get in front of more teachers. So you might have a note on here of, you know, Michelle, would you be willing to introduce me to Jeff and could I possibly interview him of ways he thinks I might be able to get in front of more teachers? I might say yes, I might say no, but either way, you know your business better than I do, so you're gonna be better prepared to have notes on my forms of ways you think that I can help you. Um, again, hobbies, you know, let's say we both like uh, baseball. Maybe we go to a baseball game together and um, get to know each other a little bit more, right? Um, so that's kind of the bio sheet and you don't usually use as much time on the bio sheet because there's not too many places to really dig in for the referral opportunities. It's just more getting to know each other. Um, but there will be some opportunities that will come up. Like I said, um, you know, if you saw that Jeff was a teacher and you wanted to get in front of more teachers or wrestling coaches, you could see I obviously have an in that you might not have known about otherwise. On the gains exchange, let's look at this. So again, taking a look at, um, I gotta find my gains exchange. Taking a look at um, where you want, um, how you want to grow a little bit more um, and what areas you think is um, going to be best for what you're doing. So again, goals, remember the first time you were in the hat, how can you help me? Second time, how can I help you? So you might have notes on here if you saw this as my games exchange and you saw that I wanted to have all of the members in Alaska or all the chapters in Alaska be above 20 members by June 30th, you might say, you know what, Michelle, I'm in a chapter, we have 35 people, but I know a chapter that meets here locally um, is only at 17. What professions are available? And, you know, I might pull up the roster and show you and you might say, oh, well, I have an electrician friend that would probably benefit from BNI, but we already have an electrician in my chapter. Let me see if I can bring him to that chapter. Or maybe you have friends and family up in Fairbanks and you're a member in Anchorage, right? So um, you'll be taking notes of here are some ways you could help me, right? And a lot of times that's gonna come from the gains. Um, also, then you're gonna have on your hat of how can I help you? So you might come down and you might notice that um, I'm a member of the Anchorage Chamber of Commerce, right? Um, so you might have some questions. Maybe you were thinking about joining. So you might ask me what are some benefits? What have I found valuable? 
Um, maybe you notice that a member of property owners association and you want to get in front of more property owners, um, homeowners. So you might ask me some questions about, hey, does your homeowners um, association put out a newsletter or do they have a Facebook page that they allow people to advertise on, right? So um, some of it is conversations that you're trying to have. This only works, only works if you prepare ahead of time. Otherwise, you will not have these effective conversations. You'll just be chit-chatting and doing what you should have done before. So um, if we can all commit to really following the process that I just shared with you and really you know, schedule it ahead of time, exchange the forms, review the forms prior and take notes prior using how can you help me, how can I help you, writing them on those notes, um, and then really sticking to the timer. I believe in my heart of hearts, number one, um, all of our members in Alaska will be in the green on the power of one because all of you will be doing your one-to-ones, one one-to-one -one per week because you'll find them very valuable versus being maybe a waste of time. You'll find them valuable. So A, you'll start doing them regularly, maybe even more than one per week. Uh, two, like I said, if it's done this way, typically we find on average, you'll walk away with three referral opportunities. So our referral numbers will go up, which obviously leads to so much more, right? People making more money, um, members, you know, just really getting an overall experience. And to be honest, uh, a lot of times some of the introductions come in ways of bringing people as visitors and guests to the chapter. So if you want to get introduced to say an event planner, I might, instead of um, just introducing you, maybe I call my friend who's an event planner and say, hey, listen, I have someone I would like to personally introduce you to. Uh, Rob's a great friend of mine. He's bet the best of the best in his business. And I would love to introduce him to you at a networking meeting I go to next week, Wednesday at 7 a.m. Um, not only would you get to meet him, I'll introduce you to some other folks that I know that might benefit your business as well. Can I reserve a spot for you? And now you'll have some visitors. Again, our goal is just one visitor per member per month. Um, definitely doable, especially when we're focused on doing one-to-ones and doing them the right way using the forms. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me, contact me, um, text me. I'm happy to schedule some time going over your forms, giving you feedback on your forms. All of you uh, members that are in Alaska, you have access to schedule one-to-ones via uh, time trade through my calendar, so I'm happy to do that. When we do your one-to-one, -one, obviously, we won't spend this full time, but we'll, um, I'll have, be happy to review your sheets and take a look at everything. So happy connecting, and let's make your one-to-ones worth it. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.